so here's my Trader Joe haul. I will say this is not a normal Trader Joe haul, um, primarily because we don't do hauls all that often, um, because we kind of go every week, so we're lucky. But um, I hadn't actually personally been in a while, so um, I wanted to pick a few things that I'd seen other people get, and then just kind of look to see what was new. So what have I got here? Um, we're gonna start with the freezer items. So I've heard lots of great things about these Nokis. So I ended up getting the Gorgonzola Noki and the Sweet Potato Noki. Um, one of my favorites, and I haven't seen people talk about the months, are the zucchini fries. They are really, really good. Um, I don't get them that often because they, um, <laughs> they are not figure friendly, but they are very tasty. They, if you like zucchini fries at all, you need to try these. Um, I, like to get my, I like their frozen peas, the organic frozen peas. They've been out of them at our store for quite a while, so I was really excited. I picked up a couple. I got two last week and actually went through those all. So I got two more this week. Um, another thing that I really enjoy is the chicken shumai. Um, I also like the pork one as well. Uh, they cook up really nicely and very easy to make when I'm doing something else if I want an Asian knife. This is something else that I saw in somebody's um, list. It's a seafood blend. It's a mix of shrimp, calamari rings, and bay scallops. I think it'll do great when I just want to pull something out and mix it into something else. Um, pot stickers can't go wrong with pot stickers. These are the, the the pork pot stickers. I really like these. They are very very tasty and they uh, add to a meal very nicely. Uh, and this is something else I've seen in a lot of folks is the uh, organic rainbow uh, cauliflower. So I wanted to give it a try because we eat a bit of cauliflower. I don't keep a lot of frozen vegetables in the house because I get a lot of fresh ones, but I, I wanted to try this. I thought it would make for a nice, um, something different about that. Um, one of the things that people have been raving about is the um, light shredded mozzarella cheese. Uh, I don't buy a lot of shredded cheese, but I thought, oh, what the heck, I'm gonna give it a try. So I went ahead and got that one. And one of the things that I use quite a bit is um, shredded Gruyere. So this was a Swiss and Gruyere. Um, it was a good price, um, actually cheaper than I think $4.99, which would have been cheaper than if I bought a regular Gruyere. Somebody else that I watched was talking about these little tapas samplers. So I decided to try those, which looked really good. And along with that, I got some cured meat as well to just to put out. This is, you know, sometimes we just like to snack on a few things, so I thought that might be a fun snack item. Um, I normally buy most of my meat at the meat market, but the one thing that I have a hard time getting at the meat market is ground turkey. Uh, so I picked up a couple of the ground turkeys. They were a good price. Uh, I also decided uh, somebody else had done one um, uh, skinless, boneless chicken thighs. I like to use these when I get them from the meat market. They tend to have the skin and the bones in them. Uh, which takes a little bit of time for me to try and put together. So I thought I'd try this and see how that worked out. The next item, we are having salmon Caesar salad, and normally I would go to the fishmonger, and I said, you know what, we're going to try this. We'll see how this compares to what I get at the, the fish market. So that's for dinner tonight is my uh, salmon fillets. Something everybody raves about, everything but the bagel se uh, seasoning. So I decided to give it a try. I'm not a huge fan of things sticking in my teeth and this has lots of sticking in your teeth sort of items. So we'll see about that. Um, some clarified butter, glee. I like ghee. I like to use this um, in cooking uh, and it's if making yourself is not always the easiest thing. It is easy but it's time consuming. So I decided to go ahead and get some. I also we're having enchiladas. Um, this week, so I decided to try the green chilies that they have there. Uh, I got a couple cans just to have them on hand. I got several sauces. One is the pineapple salsa. I happen to like this particular one. Um, the salsa verde, verde, which is I'm also going to use in my enchiladas later. Some black beans, which I'll use as well. 
some of the pico de gallo we'll also use um, in those enchiladas that I'm going to make. My mind went blank. blank. This is another thing lots of folks were talking about is this chicken salad um, that's made, that's um, locale. It's made with Greek yogurt. And I'm not a big mayonnaise fan, so I very rarely buy um, chicken salad out places because they use mayonnaise. And there's no mayonnaise in this, so I was excited. I thought I'd give it a try, um, take it to work. It'll be a nice, uh, something that I can just snack on at work. Pickles. I don't think I ever realized that they sold pickles, and I'm a huge pickle fan, so I decided to give their pickles a try. Um, I get lots of their vegetable stock. This is the vegetable, uh, their stock in general. This happens to be the vegetable ones. I've got um, chicken and beef downstairs as well. Uh, I saw somebody using this. It's, it's jackfruit, and I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Um, we like to try at least one or two meatless meals a week, and this will be a good option to try. I've not used it before, but I'm willing to give it a try. Uh, these are new. I hadn't noticed these before. They're uh, edinami uh, little rice crackers. Uh, they're gluten-free. I happen to like edinami, and I like the little rice crackers, so this will go good, I think, with that chicken salad as well. One of my personal favorites, and I think if you've not tried them, you really need to, is the gorgonzola chip crackers. They're very good. I, I, they've been my favorite for a while now at Trader Joe's and definitely keep getting them over and over again. Um, the next thing is the falafel mix. Um, I saw somebody, a couple other people use this, so I thought, mm, what the heck, I'm going to try this, see how it works. Okay, continuing on. So in the trying new things and different things. I also got the Mexican blend cheese. I'm going to use this for my enchiladas later in the week. I'm not a fan of Trader Joe's regular string cheese, um, but I thought we'd give this a try. It's fresh mozzarella uh, cheese sticks. It's pricey, but um, I'm hoping the, you know, the cost is going to be indicative of the taste. I also got some of these little mini breeze. If you've not tried this, they're great. Um, I like brie. It's one of those things I can take to work with me and just have some crackers with and a little bit of things. I Cheese and crackers is something that I live on. So this is a nice item to have at work. Um, I'm also trying the stone ground white corn tortillas. I normally get my tortillas um, at a specialty mar market here, but I'm going to try when I make my enchiladas, going to try using this instead. I really liked the little mini avocados. They're like smaller avocados. Sometimes the bigger ones is too much and I tend to eat a lot of avocado, so I thought I'd give that a try. Clean the table slowly going down as my husband put things away in that kind of, and I bought some limes. Um, the bag of limes was actually cheaper than getting the singles, which I found interesting. So I went ahead and just got the bag of limes. We use it for a variety of things, plus the enchiladas this week and the avocados. Um, Treats that we like, the soft licorice. Um, I'm a red girl. My husband likes the black. So these are really good and we really enjoy them. Puffy cheese corn sticks, something my husband likes, corn puffs. We like these, my husband likes them most definitely. He takes those for lunch. A um, Couple of things that other people have been talking about I thought I'd try. This is the balsamic glaze. Um, there's a couple of balsamic things. They have a balsamic vinegar that I really like at Trader Joe's. It's the more expensive one, but it is fabulous. So I thought I'd try this. Um, I tend to, you know, cook mine down so I can make my own glaze, but this is a different sort of option. Um, the coconut amino. Everything I've been reading about this or have watched is that it, it's similar to soy sauce, but much healthier than soy sauce. So I thought I'd give that a try. I also just like to have pasta on hand, so I just picked up um, a caponella just for thinness and then some shells because we also make um, homemade uh, mac and cheese on a regular basis, so those are nice things to have. I normally would not buy my produce, produce at Trader Joe's, but we're trying something different, so this is for that um, salmon Caesar that we're having tonight for dinner, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really digging these uh, little Persian uh, mini cucumbers. I just take one to work, two to work, and I just eat on them. So really like that. I think it's going to be really good with that chicken salad and a nice mix of it. 
This is unsweetened oatmeal, instant oatmeal. Um, if you like to have overnight oats or something easy, this is wonderful. It has no added sugar to it. It is, when they say unsweetened, it is definitely unsweetened. What I like to do is to, um, I can make these at work. I mix in fresh blueberries with it, and then I also add um, some Greek yogurt and blend it all together. It is a very filling uh, meal. I definitely, if, if, if you like oatmeal and you're looking to stay away from instant sweets, this is the way to go. I really, really like it. Um, organic sugar, I happen to like their sugar, so I was running out of sugar, so I, and it takes a while for me to go through sugar here in the house, but realized I needed some more. So something else I picked up was fig butter. Uh, this is one of those items that you can serve with cheese very easily. It'll make itself, it, it'll work very nicely as a cheese complement. So I'm looking forward to that. I picked up some of these cans. They're, it's 100% pineapple juice and it is 100, <laughs> the can is, it is 100% pineapple juice. It also has a long shelf life. I think it was 2020. Uh, I picked up these primarily for drink mixers, there's a number of drinks that we end up liking that calls for pineapple juice and I never have any, so I thought that would be nice to have online. On line. Uh, the next is the wine shop <laughs> items. Uh, these, these simple wines are phenomenal. Um, these happen to be the Italian sparkling ones. Um, if you like Prosecco um, and things like that, these are a great alternative just to have in your because you can have just one or two drinks and not have to open an entire bottle and waste an entire bottle. Um, I like to mix these with um, um, like a pomegranate liqueur or um, elderflower liqueur. They, they blend sometimes with orange juice, but they blend really well. The rosé I just like on its, own, on its own. This was the last rosé they had at the store, um, so I stock up when I can. I have several of these already. Uh, they also make a peach one that I really enjoy. It was out of stock as well. One of the things I'd seen on somebody else's but had not yet made it to my store, and I know this because they were not here last week, this past weekend, are these new cans. They're simply wines, the same sort of, bent, but these are Australian wines. So I picked up, and this is a pretty, this is two glasses, you know, you could, don't have to open an entire bottle sometimes. So I picked up a couple of the red wine ones. Um, a couple of the Chardonnays, and one of the Rosé. Um, this isn't sparkling, so I'm not sure. Um, depending on the Rosé, I don't particularly like real sweet ones, so I'm not sure, but I only got one just because I wasn't sure about it. Some kind of staples that we like um, is the Churn, Big Churn Chardonnay. It's relatively inexpensive. I think it's $5.99, but um, it's a very good Chardonnay. Um, I can't pronounce this one. It's an Italian wine. Um, we just like it. <laughs> I can't even, it's a blend of some sort, but it's, it's pretty tasty. Uh, and another go-to item that we usually have on a regular basis is the Cherry Blossom. It's a Pinot Noir. I think it's $5.99 or $6.99 a, a bottle, so it's relatively inexpensive. So, um, this was my Trader Joss haul, haul today. <laughs>